Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading for the second half of April. Talk about the running theme for your month, uh, for this month for you guys being everything going your way. All day I've had the light blocking out everybody's videos, so yeah, <laughs> you guys got lucky and things went your way. The lighting is better for your guys reading, it's just the way it is. Um, that's really what I was picking up on. Things just got miraculously going your way. So it's like unexpected turnarounds and things like that. Um, things just falling into place as if by magic. That's what I'm picking up for you guys. So that's great. I'm going to pull a goddess card to see the overall energy for you guys. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Sagittarius. Alliance. <laughs> Everything just falling into place for you guys, right? So that's the overall energy. So that's card number 20 as well. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody. But I do do personal readings and my email will be in the description box as always. So let's see what we have going on for Sagittarius. Just a really good energy for um, Sag. <laughs> the wheel, exactly. Good fortune, everything turning around and going your way. This is really good energy. Even good um, people to work with I'm picking up. Um, meeting new people. Things like that, really positive. You finding like um, a partner or a friend, somebody, you know, some, some, something like that. But really, good fortune coming your way. It just feels like a really lucky time for you guys. And with the wheel here, yeah, it's like, for some it'll just feel like a complete turnaround. You know... A complete turnaround if things was going bad before this is just gonna feel like within an instant things just start going your way seven of wands look at that she's so powerful look at you guys standing your ground walking forward gaining your power Wow. It's like taking aim. Was one of your last videos focus? Was that your last video? Um, yeah, look, I'm just really focused on her, you know, taking aim. Like, I'm ready to shoot. I'm ready to, you know, um, set my path here, take my chance. I'm ready for things to go my way. That's what I'm picking up from you guys. I'm ready for things to go my way. I'm ready for this turnaround. That's what I'm just picking up from that seven of wands. Determination. The devil card. So it could be a Capricorn for some. Um, for others, I feel like um, this is an attachment. This really feels like an attachment. I'm not really picking up. Um, it's uh, the, ne uh, the devil card can be like a negative card but I really feel like this is attachment I feel like um you know somebody is attached to you or you're attached to somebody here um but you're just ready to fight this fight you're ready to move forward remain focused take aim have all this good stuff coming in I feel like this devil card here is like non-existent to you but it is about a strong attachment. So if you have a strong connection with somebody, um, maybe you haven't even heard from them, but this connection isn't broken because of this de devil card here. You could just be doing like what people perceive as like negative behavior, each to their own, you know, drinking or something like that. Um, 
it doesn't have to be negative so I, I, I'm not really picking up negativity from it look at this yeah ace of wands empress wow look at this new beginning this fresh stars all these offers coming in giving birth to new possibilities and abundance here like Sagittarius I do not think anything can hold you back right now people may even feel like you're the devil because you just can't be convinced any other way and I don't see that as negative at all like standing your ground being assertive some people may feel like it's aggressive but I'm not picking that up from you it's just remaining focused to get your desired outcome here and that's abundance with the empress. Wow. So yeah, this is a lot of fortune. So hold on to that money. It's coming in here. New life as well here. Ten of cups. Jeez, you guys. Maybe you could be starting a family of your own here um, with the Empress. So congratulations if you are. Um, but yeah, this is just like happiness, isn't it? Starting something new here that's going to, you know, emotionally fulfill you. Doesn't have to be um, starting a family. It could be, you know, happy in your current situation here. Because things are going so well now. You know, spending that time with family, with friends. People, you, you know, with children. People you want to spend it with. But just overall, that abundance in emotional fulfillment. Abundance in fortune here. Offers, even. I feel like Aries season with this Empress is really good for you guys. wonderful maybe um be careful if you are drinking a lot and celebrating um you know like drinking every night because we drink to our accomplishments yeah like you're gonna be celebrating with a lot of drinks here um so yeah just be careful that could be why the devil card's there and i'm not really picking up negative energy from it you know if you want to celebrate with drinks that's you i feel like you may get offered a lot of offers like to go out and celebrate and enjoy life here with the ace of wands we have communication coming in and um, positive communication coming in <laughs> ace of swords right this communication coming in and clarity Wow, you've got so many opportunities here, like Leo's. You know, that fire energy really good for you guys after that Pisces season. Wonderful. We're moving into Taurus season. So what you set into motion during Aries season will now, you know, be showing up in your life as if by magic I'm feeling, as if out of nowhere. Like the seeds were sort of planted during Aries season. And you're now reaping those rewards. That's wonderful. If you're waiting on communication, we have these. Um, oh my God. Ace of Cups. We have offers left, right and center for you guys. Because you're doing so well. And all this goodness coming in for you. The devil energy could be energy vampires. Like clinging to you. Because they can sense all this good energy around you. You're going to get offers of love, offers of jobs, offers of from all over the place here. You know, it's just going to be like, it's all coming together so easy. Wow, that's wonderful. You've got this abundance in love. Somebody really wanting to talk now.
we have the strength. So I just mentioned Leos as well. So if you're dealing with a Leo, um, you know, things could be going pretty well with them. Um, I feel like you just gain strength the more we go through April. Look at that, four of wands. So yeah, look how beautiful and decorated she is. You could be decorating your home, moving home, things like that. But it's more like gaining that stability here. And look, the full card. That Aries energy set you on a whole new path here. Whole new beginning. Fresh, exciting. You know, maybe a little risky, but a good risky. With the full card here. This full card's amazing. Like, it's like, wish for it, I dare you. You're going to get it. So be careful what you wish for. If you're wishing for love, boom, here it is, handed to you. If you're wishing for communication, here it comes. You're wishing for clarity on a situation, boom, as if out of nowhere. It's like you, you're walking down the street one day, pops into your head like an epiphany. Everything falling into place for you guys. Enjoy this. You know, when we manifest in joy and happiness, this Ten of Cups in the heart of your reading, you bring in more. So you want to carry that into all the rest of the seasons. Set yourself up for the next year ahead. Wonderful opportunities coming for you guys. Wow, beautiful. Love, romance, everything. Good luck, guys.